Hello, in this video let us discuss the installation procedure for the software. So in order to install the educational version of Creo Parametric, we can open the Google home screen and you can directly type Creo for education and press enter. So you will be having multiple uh, links present over here. You can just click the first link free software PTC. Now for your information PTC is the company which has developed the Creo software. If you are interested you can visit the website and understand what are their products and solutions. Now you have landed to a page which offers you academic free software in order to learn and work on your models. You can just go down and you can click any of these two because these two will direct you to the same uh, same page. So let me just try to click Creo for university students. So when I'm clicking on this, I'm asked to fill a form on the right hand side and on the left you can see the installation system requirements. So kindly just check up whether your information I mean your uh, system has the specifications mentioned over here. If it is uh, well and good you can proceed filling your form. So I'll just pause the video. I'll fill up my details and I'll press, press submit. And uh, in the location of this particular column what best describes you. You can select yourself as a college or university student and you can just enter your country name and you can enter your mobile number so after submitting you will be getting a message thank you for registering for Creo and uh, you will be uh, allotted with a link to install Creo 6.0 for now because this is the latest version that is present for academic purpose and for as a free software from the website itself from the company itself if you are interested to download the previous versions, you can download the previous versions as well. So it's not uh, compulsory to use specific version depending on your system you can use any of the versions. Uh, you can just click on any of these links depending on your system requirements. So let us try to click on install Creo and the procedure for installation for all the versions is quite similar. So you will be directed with this PDF. So in this PDF you will be having um, different uh, steps which will make us understand how the installation procedure works. So the first step is to download the PTC Creo 6.0 DVD image. So we can just right click on this and open in another tab so that the downloading starts. And uh, let me just wait because it is loading. So PTC is asking me to log in. So if you haven't registered yourself in PTC uh, support website, you can just click a new academic account and you can register yourself. So let me just try to sign in and press login. So I'll just pause the video over here. Now that I've logged in, I will be, I mean, even after you just uh, create your email ID, you have to log in in the previous uh, page what uh, was present and after that you will be directed to one of the agreement page. So here you have to see that uh, you will be checking this box and try to be very careful over here because the agreement is present in multiple languages. You can just uh, scroll down and see. Uh, do not try to click any other agreements because if you are trying to click those agreements which are of other language uh, I'm not sure maybe the software also will be in that particular version. So just try to click on English version export over here and if you're interested you can just read the agreement details. So press continue after that. Most probably now you will be directed for downloading the software. Yeah, you got a new page and you can just check up different versions present over here. So you will be having 6.0 uh, 
and 5.0, 4.0, 3.0. So you can download any of six, any of these two, because these two are the latest softwares, 5.0 and 6.0. And uh, the memory requirement is almost the same for both. So you can try to click on Download Manager or HT HTTPS. So let me just try to see whether the Download Manager is working. So it's not working. Let me go back and let me try to click on HTTPS and see whether the download starts. Yes, I uh, have the download started right now. So it's uh, it'll take almost 10 to 11 minutes depending on your connectivity. I'll just pause the video and I'll come back after the download has been completed. Now that I have downloaded the software, let me try to extract to a new folder. Now that the file has been uh, extracted, let us try to double click and you will be having multiple files inside so you have to just check up and search where is setup you can file you can find the setup application over here so do not select the setup scores and setup trial directly you can select the setup.exe and right click on it and try to run as administrator so you will be prompted with a message and it is advised to press yes so the installation of Creo is quite tricky sometimes it uh, you know sometimes we face many errors and right now I'm not, not sure whether I will be going to install the software in one attempt so if at all I'm trying to if at all I'm facing any issues we will just try to sort the issues and uh, just try to see that you have selected install new software and press next you have to accept the license agreement and you have to tick this box. After this you have to press next. Now the important thing over here is you have to add a license file. So in order to add the license file you can go back to the browser and you can go back to the window where we have this PDF from where we have downloaded the software and uh, we have the license uh, product code over here but before that if you already have the software installed if you had a previous version of Creo installed I recommend you to uninstall it and after uninstallation I also recommend you to search for the license file which was already present in your system and delete the license file because if you are having an existing license file even though you have uninstalled the software you will definitely face problems with the latest versions so in order to delete the previous license file you can just copy this address because you cannot directly find the address if you are searching in your program data you will not be able to find PTC licensings directly because it is generally hidden so you can just copy and you can go to your window and you can just select and paste over here and press enter so I do not have any of the license file in my system so I'm just pressing OK once again let me try no it's not available so let me go back to the PDF and in case uh, if this is your first installation in your laptop then you can just skip off this particular step and you can directly copy the code product code so let us see whether the product code works. Press install licensing. You will be asked with your email address. And enter your password. Press login. And wait for the processing. If you are getting an error message right now so you have to disconnect your internet and you have to again press install licensing and see whether you'll be getting a successful message or no so let us try to see what's happening so 
so it's taking a bit of time and it's uh, i'm getting a message of uh, not responding so it is better to wait yes i got the success over here so if in case uh, you're not getting a success message over here if you're getting a error message so you just disconnect your wi-fi or your disconnect your internet connectivity and try to press install again and i'm sure in that case you'll be getting a success message this is because sometimes you will be having a uh, antivirus even try to uninstall the antivirus if you are having in your system in case if you are facing the error message then try to do all these things if not if it is working in the first attempt then well and good now you can see that the license file is available over here so just try to press next or uh, do not try to click on skip licensing because licensing is most important in uh, registration and working of your software so you have to see that you get a message of success over here and uh, status available over here so let us try to press next yeah here you will be having all the related softwares uh, i mean all the related modules of creo parametric so the most important uh, module for development of cad modules is the creo parametric so if you are not interested in simulate because this is occupying 703 mb you can try to deselect this option just to save your memory and the others you can just tick up because these are occupying very less space it's not required to deselect them and uh, you can just tick up other options as well most of the options are selected and you have to see whatever is required that has to be selected i mean it is selected automatically so let me just try to press next right now everything is looking good you can see some of the options are already installed in my system so let me just try to take this as well install now uh, this will take uh, some amount of time so you have to wait for that and uh, let us see what's going to happen after this yes now that uh, i have uh, completed the completion of installation process i we have to verify that all the applications are installed 100% especially the creo parametric but uh, in my case i am getting a warning over here that uh, the status is completed with a warning so let me just check up what is the warning the warning uh, says me that the creo software was installed successfully but uh, the installer has detected that the graphic cards which uh, the system which i am using it uh for the system does not support creo simulation live so there is another application called creo simulation live in creo software and the graphic card of my system which i'm using for installation purpose uh, doesn't have the suitable graphic card installed in it so it's giving me a suggestion that a dedicated nvidia graphic card is recommended for it so this is not a problem and uh, i got a me another message over here that if you do not intend to use creo simulation live you can ignore this message so we can ignore this message probably if your system is having the relevant graphic card you will not be getting any of this warning and even if you are getting the warning we are not using creo simulation live for our cad designing purpose and all so we can directly press finish over here and then you can go to the home screen you can just refresh over here and you can see the creo modules installed over here and i have the creo parametric as well so we can just try to refresh and we can press double click and wait for the software to open so you have to if you're getting this message you just have to pre press allow access and maybe you will be getting this message multiple number of times and uh, here it is the software has opened right now so you can just try to click over here no start working and if you want you can accept all cookies and close the 
resource center then you can just maximize the total screen the software has installed successfully and you can see the message over here for educational use so this is the student edition and uh, we have successfully downloaded the version you can just close the browser window and you can start working over here so this is the total installation video i really hope i'm clear with this let us go to the next video